Hey everybody, it's Ornlu back with another video that technically passes as educational AoE2 content. But yes, we're going to be looking at some more game mechanics, and last time I did a video like this I covered the movement speed of all of the units in the game and compared them and all that good stuff, and people found that really helpful, so this time we're going to be going through the reload times of all the different units and buildings in the game. So to clarify what I mean with reload time, there are a bunch of different terms in the community for it. Uh, attack speed, fire rate, rate of fire, um, and I'll probably use some of them interchangeably throughout this video, but they all essentially mean the same thing. The one big thing that reload time is not is frame delay. If you think about it in the sense of the frame delay is the time between targeting a unit and its first attack. So if you have, you know, you have your archer and it's going to attack an object, it doesn't matter what. From the, the time between the zeroth shot and the first shot is the frame delay, and the time between the first shot and all subsequent shots is the reload time. And reload time is the bonus that is impacted by like the Japanese faster attacking infantry, uh, stirrups for Bulgarian cavalry, and that whole sort of thing. So for this video, we're going to compare the reload times from slowest to fastest of everything in the game. Uh, and this time is measured in in-game seconds, so the slowest will be 10 seconds and then we will go all the way up from there. And we will be using the Long Swordsman right there as our control group. It has a uh, attack speed reload time of two seconds in game, which as we will see later is going to be pretty much the standard. But before we jump into everything, if you do enjoy this video or find it interesting or helpful, please be sure to leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new and want to see more AOE2 content. But with that out of the way, let's get right into this. Alright, so like I said, the slowest attack speed in the game is one attack every 10 in-game seconds, and that is going to be the trebuchet and the cannon galleon. Two long-range, well, what essentially are siege weapons, and because the long swordsman here has a reload time of two, it means that it will be getting in five attacks for every one of these two guys. But of course, this is mitigated for, uh, in the case of trebs and cannon galleons, because they deal a bunch of damage from very long range to buildings especially, and so that's just kind of how the units work but it is still very, very slow. Slowest in the game by a ton. You can improve the fire rate of trebuchets with Kataparuto uh, for Japanese, and of course cannon galleons can benefit from uh, the Spanish bonus, and they can actually fire cannonballs as well as faster. Uh, but I guess I should take this chance to mention that uh, I'm only looking at the base reload time of all the units and buildings in the game. Uh, not going to be considering... Uh, Civ bonuses or techs that increase uh, fire rate, like Thumbring especially, that can make things a little too complicated for just one little video. So we're just going to stick with the base reload times. Of course, there are going to be some exceptions, but I will explain those in due course. And the other thing is that unless I mention specifically otherwise, uh, almost every you know unit line in the game has the same reload time. So you know cannon galleons and elite cannon galleons have the exact same reload time, so if I'm just showing one, unless I, again, I mention specifically otherwise, it is going to have the exact same time uh, for all the different units in that line, like with Swordsman, Militia, all the way up through Champion, same exact reload time. A few exceptions, of course, but uh, yeah, that is going to be our slow pokes here at 10. All right, the second slowest reload time in the game it comes with the Bombard Cannon, which for some reason decides to attack this building but it doesn't really matter. It is a reload time of 6.5 seconds, so every 6.5 in-game seconds, this, game, this guy will shoot a cannonball. This can, of course, be improved with the Spanish once again. And again, it is a long-range, primarily anti-building or anti-siege unit unit, so it makes sense that high damage, long-range, slow fire rate. You can see that the swordsman's getting a little over three hits in for every one cannonball being shot by the bombard cannon. Uh, but he will be all alone here at 6.5. All right, so next up, exactly one half second faster, with a reload time of six in-game seconds, we will have mangonels, onagers, siege onagers, all of them, bombard towers, and turtle ships. So yes, all of these guys are exactly three times slower than the swordsman line here, and we're still looking at large units and or buildings, uh, very, very high damage, decent-ish range, and of course, yeah, that's just how those sorts of units are. Notably, the Onager Manganel line, it 
faster firing than bombard cannons when it comes to microing those sorts of units. Bombard towers, uh, spoiler alert, are going to be actually three times slower than the arrow firing towers. Those are going to be the same as swordsmen. And uh, turtle ships firing slower than any of the uh, other ships in the game kind of makes sense. Next, we have our five second reload time crew. And that is going to be all of the rams battering capped siege. And then the three explode units, the petard, the flaming camel, and the demolition ship, the entire demolition ship line. Now, in case you're wondering, wait a minute, these units all explode upon attacking once. Why does their reload time matter? Why does it exist as five seconds in the game data? Well, I have absolutely no idea. But trust me, they do have a reload time of five. I tried to find a way to make it so that the units did not die upon attacking, but I am not clever enough with modding or anything like that to figure that one out. So you'll just have to take my word for it or just look in the genie editor, one of the two. Uh, also, something that's very notable about the Rams is that, one, I forgot to mention, but uh, Celts, all of their siege weapons fire faster, so remember that. But also, for some reason, the attack animation for Rams uh, doesn't really line up with the actual damage that they're outputting. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a reload time of five seconds for uh, all these guys. Next up, with a reload time of 3.6, we just have the Scorpion, all by its lonesome both the regular and heavy scorpion. So 3.6 reload time, notably slower than most, you know, regular units. We still haven't gotten to like the regular units yet, but it is notably faster than all of the other siege weapons. And then again, Celts going to be firing even faster still. 0 0.15 seconds faster than the scorpion. We come to our first, you know, regular units, and that is going to be uh, most of the regular gunpowder units. Uh, we have the hand cannoneer, the organ gun, and the Janissary, all with a fire rate of 3.45, so you can consider that like the standard gunpowder unit fire speed. And notably, especially for like hand cannoneers and Janissaries, they have around half of the fire rate of fully upgraded uh, archers and cav archers. So something to consider when going for these units is that, yes, their damage numbers might look very high, because they are, uh, but they do fire quite slowly. Uh, organ guns, meanwhile, uh, are probably best comparable to, like, a scorpion or something. Uh, and they do fire faster, but don't deal as much splash damage. So, yeah. Gunpowder units. Okay, now we arrive at a reload time of three, which is our first uh, big, big showing of lots of different units. Had to add in another row of outposts. But let's get started. So we're, here we're looking at units that fire exactly 50% slower than the swordsman line and a ton of other stuff. So we will have uh, both of the regular trash units that aren't light cav. We have pikemen, spearmen all the way through halberdier, uh, skirmishers, uh, both regular elite and imperial, and then genitors naturally firing um, the same as elite skirmishers. Chukunu, I'll get right back to those guys. Uh, we have the galley line, uh, so fire rate of three on those guys, and then the two analogs to the galley line with caravels and longboats all firing at the same speed. Lastly, we have the harbor over here. I know it looks different because I'm playing as Britons, but that's just kind of how harbors are. Look at it, it's a harbor. It has a fire rate of three, so it is slower than most of the other uh, defensive buildings and whatnot. Also, it's got that random trade resource, if you remember from my uh, useless tips video. So 600 of that, completely pointless. Anyway, lastly, we get to the Chukonu. It's going to be our first asterisk when it comes to, like, civ bonuses and, like, differences in unit line because, technically speaking, both regular Chukunu and Elite Chukunu are coded in the game as having a reload time of three. In practice, it's a little bit slower, and it's even slower for the Elite Chukunu upgrade. Again, looking back to my... Uh, most recent useless facts video, and that's because the Chukunu has to go through the animation of firing multiple arrows, and with the Elite Chukunu upgrade, you end up getting uh, five arrows instead of three per shot. So it ends up being a little bit slower, but I'm still going to put it here because it, you know, in purposes of the game files, it is a reload time of three. So yeah, lots and lots of stuff here. With a 0.1 in-game second faster reload time, we have just the Conquistador with 2.9. Now, the Conquistador is going to be our second asterisk because I'm pretty sure that the unit is 
coded to have a 3.45 reload time like all of the other gunpowder units that we went through earlier, hand cannoneer, janissary, organ gun. That would make sense. However, because Spanish get the faster firing gunpowder and you can only ever get conquistadors as Spanish, uh, you know, train conquistadors as the Spanish, even if you convert them, they retain the, uh, the base, you know, created unit fire rate. But yeah, there is no legitimate game situation unless you play with all text, but I don't count that where you can get conks to fire slower than 2.9. So one of the nice handy things to know about Conquistadors is that, yes, they do fire faster than the other gunpowder units at, yeah, 2.9. Still pretty slow, but faster than the other gunpowder units. Moving right along, and now we're up to 2.5. So, what, half a second slower than the Swordsman line? We have two somewhat similar units-ish. Man, you can see the frame delay is uh, a lot higher on the War Wagon. But anyway, uh, we will have the Blista Elephant and the War Wagon over here. Two sort of clunkier, unique units, uh, but ranged, slower, higher-ish damage. Notably, the Elephant Archer used to be among these three, uh, but that was buffed a couple patches ago, so we'll get to him in a little bit. So yeah, a bit slower than your regular sorts of Swordsman unit and a ton of other units, uh, but still not too slow in the grand scheme of things. Ballista Elephants, very much faster firing than regular Scorpions, although they still are really bad in most situations. Uh, War Wagons, meanwhile, are super tanky and deal pretty good damage for their cost, so they're generally considered uh, a much better unit, but yeah, 2.5. Just a little bit faster still, at 2.4 seconds reload time, we have the Koenig Twins. The Mounted Koenig and the Dismounted Koenig, both regular and elite, have the same attack speed. A fair bit slower than every other cavalry unit, as, you know, this is our first regular, you know, melee cavalry unit so far. But it is very much worth noting that with the stirrups technology, uh, the Koenigs go to a reload rate of 1.8 seconds as opposed to 2.4. So that is a huge, huge, huge DPS increase for the unit, as it is for every cavalry unit, as that tech is really insane. Uh, and notably, that does not affect the poor dismounted Koenig, which is always stuck at poor uh, 2.4 seconds. So it feels bad, man, for that unit. Uh, if you remember at launch, uh, stirrups only affected, I believe, the scout line. Um, but then they changed it so that Koenigs uh, were considered overpowered, so they nerfed their reload time and made it so you had to get stirrups to get the same reload speed as a knight, which is 1.8. Spoiler alert! One more step down at a reload time of 2.3, we have the Step Lancer, a unit that used to have a much faster uh, attack rate once the game came out, but then, uh, yeah, the unit was pretty silly at launch. It was nerfed into the ground, now it's not really seen all that often. It doesn't have a very clear role in any sort of given army. And one of the reasons for that is just this very slow attack speed. I mean, you don't have stirrups to improve these guys, and you're just looking at a unit that attacks way slower than most other heavy cavalry units, and, you know, even a fair bit slower than the swordsman line here. So one of the, the big weaknesses of this unit, for sure, is its fairly slow attack speed. Moving right up to 2.2 second reload time, we have the Kipchak, and just the Kipchak. So yes, Kipchaks actually do have a slower fire rate than most of the uh, the other Cav Archers and Cav Archer unique units, as we haven't gotten to the rest of them yet. Uh, it used to be a lot faster uh, on launch, but humans uh, at launch were uh, <clears throat> a little silly. So the Kipchak was nerfed. They still have a very, very low frame delay, but the actual time between each of your, you know, successive shots is fairly slow. It can be improved with Thumb Ring, and it's certainly a very uh, worthwhile tech to get for this unit. But as it stands, Kipchaks are definitely, you know, they're cheaper but overall weaker Cav Archers, and having a slower fire rate is just part of that. At 2.1 seconds reload time, we have just the Tarkin here. So yeah, firing just a little bit slower than your standard Swordsman unit. Uh, the Tarkin Obviously, it gets a bunch of bonus damage versus buildings, uh, but other than that, is generally a bit weaker than the Knight line in terms of actual combat stats, but it does notably have very good Pierce Armor, uh, 3 for regular, 4 for elite, so they are still really strong against archers, but one of the downsides to this unit is that it does have a fairly slow attack rate for being a heavy cavalry unit. Okay, so now we've arrived at the big guy, the reload time of 2. I wasn't kidding when I said that it is the uh, more or less default fire rate of everything in the game. Also, for some reason, the uh, task object trigger doesn't work with villagers attacking buildings. But yes, notably, guys, this is actually uh, only half-ish 
of uh, all of the units with a reload time of two. Uh, these are all of the regular units as well as all of the buildings. And then, uh, you know, next up, because I'm literally out of room in this little uh, burned town I made. But uh, yeah, we're <laughs> going to need to do the, do the unique units next. Anyway, for regular units, uh, the swordsman itself, as you can see, same exact uh, reload time as itself. Huzzah, two. Villagers, same attack rate. Eagle warriors, uh, all of them. Uh, archers, all the way up through arbalests. Cav archers and heavy cav archers. Now, again, here's our next asterisk. Uh, scout cavalry and light cavalry have a reload time of two, not the hussar. He's going to be a little bit faster, so we'll get to him in just a second. But just scouts and light cav at two. Camel riders, all the way up through imperial camel, two. Battle elephant, elite battle elephant, all that stuff. Reload time of two. And then pretty much all of the arrow firing uh, defensive buildings. You have uh, Watchtower Guard, Tower Keep, Prep Posts, Castles, Donjons, and Garrisoned Town Centers. So yeah, this is, uh, I guess other than the buildings, all of the standard units that have a reload time of two. Very much the norm in the game. Now let's see the unique units. All right, now we have a veritable sea of outposts in this rather unhappy village. But yeah, as most units have a reload time of two, then their corresponding unique unit equivalents also have a reload time of two. So this is actually 20 units. Well, I guess 19 plus the uh, control group. But Jaguar Warriors, Swordsmen, you know, analog more or less, reload time of two. Camel Archers, Cav Archer Analog, Reload Time of 2. Uh, notably, though, they do benefit uh, a bit more from Thumb Ring, but different video. Longbowman, Reload Time of 2, Archer Equivalent. Flemish Militia, a silly unit, but has a Reload Time of 2. Arambai have had their Reload Time changed uh, a few times throughout various patches, but as they stand with me recording the video, we are looking at a Reload Time of 2. Road Raiders, Swordsman Unit, same can be said for the Shotel, Throwing Axemen, Huskarl, Gebetto, Karambit, Berserk, Teutonic Knight, Sergeant, all infantry units. Oh, Kamiok as well. Uh, notably, the Kamioks then are attacking faster than uh, regular pikemen. So that's a, a nice little bonus for the unit. Then you have the Elephant Archer, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, fairly recently got buffed to a reload time of two. Uh, so it does fire as fast as uh, all the other, you know, generic archer units. Uh, same with the Genbo, used to fire slower. Uh, now it fires faster. Yeah. And then the Mameluk, Camel Equivalent, War Elephant, Elephant Unit Equivalent. Reload time of two. So, yeah, that's all the things in the game that have a reload time of two. Definitely a pretty, uh, probably a majority, for sure. So 0 0.1 faster than uh, the Swordsman. We have the 1.9 crew. Uh, reload time, of course. And that is going to be 5% faster as well. And uh, we have a, a pretty interesting mix of units here. That's one of the more, I guess, well, interesting distinctions that we can make between unique units and regular units. Anyway, we have the Condottieri. So they do attack a little bit faster than the Swordsman line. It's one of the, you know, the smaller strengths of the unit. Fairly low base damage, but still they do attack a bit faster. Like I mentioned uh, previously, Hussars attacking 5% faster than Light Cav and uh, Scout Cavalry. Just uh, one of the benefits of the upgrade. Paladins and just Paladins uh, will be attacking actually slower than Knights and Cavaliers. Don't know why that's the case, but they do have a reload time of 1.9, so it is still quite quick. And then we also have the Coustier, Keshik, Boyar, and Latus, all of which, you know, cavalry unique units, going to be the same as a Paladin notably, but slower than the Knight line. And that's definitely something to consider uh, when comparing all of these, uh, you know, potential unique unit options. And then lastly, we have the Plumed Archer, of course. So it does fire faster than a regular Archer. And th that fire rate can, uh, of course, further be improved by Thumb Ring. So yeah, the 1.9 units here. Lots of, lots of cavalry units. Another 0.1 up, or down, I guess, at 1.8 seconds reload time. We have Knights plus Cavaliers. So not Paladins, just the Knights and the Cavaliers. So attacking quite quickly. The Shot Laudel Warriors as a uh, reskin, essentially, of the Knight line. Same attack rate. 
And then we have the Cataphract plus Magyar Hussar, which do get the interesting distinction of being the fastest attacking of the cavalry unique units. So they, you know, they do attack faster than the Boyar and the Kashik and the Latus and all those other ones. Uh, and they do attack at then at the same speed as a knight. Magyar Hussar is, of course, going to be notable in that even faster attack speed than Hussars. I mean, these guys are obviously super good at running around and sniping a bunch of units. Cataphracts, you can kill a ton of infantry. And then, of course, you have the, uh, the knight line and the meme knight line. Now we're going to enter the realm of uh, technically cheating, I guess. But at 1.7, getting really fast, we have the Mangudai with Mongols. So technically speaking, the Mangudai has a reload time of 2.1, so even a, a bit slower than the Cav Archer. However, because you can only ever train Mangudai as Bongols, and they get the faster firing Cav Archer effect, uh, you do get the reload time of 1.7 really, really fast, although still technically a bit slower than the Mongol Cav Archer. However, with Thumb Ring, uh, the Mangudai ends up uh, benefiting more from Thumb Ring than Cav Archers do, so they end up edging them out a little bit once all the upgrades come in, but still, obviously, very, very fast fire rate of this beautiful, beautiful unit. Now getting into ludicrously quick realms, we have at 1.42 uh, reload speed, the Samurai. Again, cheating a little bit. The unit has a base reload time of 1.9, so the same as like a Paladin or a Hussar. However, because again, you can only ever train Samurai as the Japanese, uh, they will always be benefiting from the Japanese faster attack speed bonus, and then become one of the very, very fastest attacking units in the game. However, I'm sure you guys know the the, uh, the the top dog, so to say. And of course, to the surprise of almost nobody, our very fastest attacking unit in the entire game will be the fire ship. You know, fire galley, fire ship, fast fire ship, all have a reload time of 0.25. Of course, they have very, very low base damage. It's just kind of how the unit works. And, but yes, it does mean it is the fastest attacking unit in the game. Further, uh, I guess the Byzantines are faster still, like the very, very, very fastest, because they have a reload time of uh, 0. Point, or, yeah, 0. 0.2. So Byzantines are the fastest, fastest, fastest. Uh, but low base damage, that's obviously just how things work out. So that was all of the different attack rates and stuff, base reload time of all the units and buildings in AoE 2 DE, but... Instead of doing the, the whole comparison of, you know, like rams and all the way up to um, fire ships, uh, I feel like some of you are still not quite satisfied. And I'm sure a lot of you want to know, okay, that's great and all this base reload time, but what actually has the fastest once all of the upgrades come in, once you get into a post-imp scenario, because it actually is very close. Now, obviously, the overall fastest is the fire ship by like a bajillion miles and a half, but... Uh, if we only talk about land units or really anything else other than the fire ship, it does become a lot more interesting. So let's go ahead and do that to round off this video. We have our top five here, represented by these increasing towery things. So let's see, the fifth fastest attacking unit is going to be the Japanese champion with a fire rate of 1.5. Swordsman base uh, rate of fire of 2. And then Japanese attacking... Uh, 25% faster, going to be 1.5, very, very high damage per second. And I'm sure if you guys were paying attention, you can figure out most of these. But it is still very close. So in fourth place, we have a tie, and it will be between the Ethiopian Arbalest and the Mongol Cav Archer. Both of these guys uh, get the same fire rate of 1.44. So keep that in mind, 1.44. Ethiopians uh, with the, what is it, 18% faster firing archers. Mongols fire 25% faster, but archers, the Arbalest line, benefits more from thumb ring in terms of fire rate. So these guys will be firing at the same speed of 1.44 tiles per second. You very rarely see Mongol heavy cav archers because Mangudai are in general better. But uh, yeah, they do fire very, very quickly, and Ethiopian arbs are certainly known for being quite deadly. But number three, speaking of which is the Mongol Elite Mangudai. As I think I mentioned earlier, Mangudai do benefit more from Thumb Ring than do uh, regular Cav Archers. They get the full uh, Archer benefit and stuff. So they will have a fire rate of 1.43 tiles per... or not tiles per second, that's the other video. 1.43 uh, seconds, in-game seconds reload time. 
So literally one one hundredth of an in-game second faster than the Ethiopian Arbalest and the uh, Mongol Heavy Cav Archer. But still, you're looking at number three for the Mongol uh, fully upgraded Elite Mangadai. But number two, with the keep. If you were paying attention earlier, it is going to be a tie between the Japanese Samurai, or the only Samurai, the Japanese Condottiero, uh, which you can get via the Italian team bonus, and the Bulgarian Hussar. All of these units have a base uh, rate of fire of 1.9 seconds, and each of them get the exact same boost, Japanese with their infantry bonus, Bulgarians with the stirrups upgrade, and you're looking at a uh, rate of fire of 1.42. So again, 1 100th of a second faster than the elite Mangudai, and uh, 2 100ths of a second faster than the Arbs and uh, Cav Archers. But of course, there can only be one. And our number one fastest land unit in the game is going to be the fully upgraded uh, Bulgarian Cavalier with a reload time of 1.35 seconds. This of course makes sense because the Cavalier has a reload time of 1.8 and if you're looking at all of these different bonuses and whatever giving roughly the same effect, the unit that already has the fastest attack rate, aka the Cavalier, is going to be the fastest by a you know, pretty decent margin and that means Bulgarian Cavaliers are just so deadly with very very high DPS, great at just killing stuff. Uh, however, they are going to be much more fragile than are, say, Paladins, because they lack that extra Pierce armor. I know it says I'm Britons, but the unit itself is Bulgarians. But you only have, yeah, six Pierce armor as opposed to the uh, seven of a Paladin, and of course are lacking 40 HP. So this will be the fastest attacking land unit in the entire game. And that will, I think, nicely round out this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like if you did and subscribe and all that stuff. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.